So as you look back on the season and what you guys are able to do and how you came together to get all the way to an arena bowl, how would you characterize this year's team and the whole process? I consider us a family. Um, it's something that we bought into from day one. Um, guys came in, switched guys out, but every time someone came in, we accepted them into the family and try to go out and accomplish our goals. What did you take away from making it to an arena ball, even though it wasn't the outcome you guys want? What was that journey like for you guys? Um, I, for us, it's sort of kind of one of those things where we know we're able to do it. And so for us, this offseason is a, a big thing for us to try to keep everybody together and go back and do the journey again because we know we're capable of getting there. And we also know we're capable of getting there and winning it. It's kind of emotional for Coach James and maybe even Randy Hippert at the AFL Awards. You kind of got to see them finally get acknowledged for some of the things you guys have been doing as a team. What was that like for you, and how has this whole season been under Coach James? Uh, it was great for me to see. Um, I've known Coach James since 2012, um, back when he's in Utah, and me and Randy have been together for the last three years. Um, so to see those guys get recognition for the work they put in was a great thing. Um, and it, it just speaks to how they are as, as you know, people. Um, they work very hard. They, they do their best to try to lead this team, and that's what they did this year. What are you looking forward to next season? Are you kind of coming in with a chip on your shoulder after just falling short this year of the Unreadable? Uh, absolutely. I think that's the only way we can come back into this thing. Um, we, we left everything we had out there on the field, and it wasn't good enough. So obviously this offseason, we have to go out and get better and continue to improve. You mentioned this team was family, and a lot of other guys have mentioned brotherhood. Is that, is that unusual to have a team that, that's this close and, and has that bond? Uh, for me, yeah. Um, I've been on teams that have been close, but not as close as this one is. Um, and again, from day one, this is something that sort of kind of evolved and, and happened organically. I think uh, bringing a lot of guys from different walks and different teams and putting us in one room, nobody would really expect us to, to come together as close as we did. And that's what we've done. So these are people that you know we'll be speaking to for the rest of our lives and every day during the off season, trying to make sure they're on top of what they need to do to get ready for next season. Do you get a sense that a lot of guys do want to come back and you do feel there's a sense of unfinished business? You want to come back and get to the Arena Bowl again and, and take care of business this time? Absolutely. Um, and, you know, anytime you, you're left with a sour taste in your mouth and, and coming that close and, and just ending the way it did, you, you want to get back to it and, and prove everybody wrong. What was the, the final message that the coach left you guys with when you just had your, your final team meeting? Uh, just stay together, um, stay in touch with everybody. It, again, it goes back to what we've been talking about with the family thing. Um, that's something that all of us is really, really bought into, and so we got to try to do an off season. What's the what's the off season involved for you? Do you take a little bit of time off here to kind of recuperate from the season? When do you start getting back into it? And then, like, what do you focus on in the off season? Uh, yeah, I'll take some time to recover from from any little aches and pains we might have, and then uh, back to work improving. Everything from from the ground up, you know, start for me is in my position is starting from footwork, route running, um, and then adding anything else and evaluating what I see for myself on tape that I need to work on. Thank you. Thank you.